Hey everybody, this is Fred here at The Paper Tiger, and with this video I hope to show you how to diagnose and resolve the server not found issue that you may be experiencing when you install Paper Tiger, or um, you might have come across after some time of Paper Tiger running um, without a problem. Let's go ahead and open up Paper Tiger, and um, let's see what happens. Okay, let's assume that we just got done finishing uh, the installation of Paper Tiger and uh, we're about to launch it for the first time. Looks like we get an error saying 5 equals failed to connect to server PT support 2 slash PT professional 41. This is an error that's caused by either your SQL installation not being properly installed on your computer or by the SQL service that Paper Tiger uses either not running or being blocked. So let's check things, let's check the SQL first and see what's going on with that. Um, sometimes, uh, generally, when you install Paper Tiger and the SQL installation fails, it will prompt you to, um, it, and it will tell you that SQL did not install correctly to please, please reinstall um, the software again. Sometimes either you might miss it or it might not come up. Um, but that may be one of the reasons why um, you're getting this error message. So let's go ahead and check and see if SQL is installed properly. You're going to go to your start menu here. You're going to go to the control panel. Add remove programs. And then in here you should see a list of all these, um, all your installed applications. Within those applications you need to look for these certain ones. Microsoft SQL Server 2005, Microsoft SQL Server Native Client, Microsoft SQL Server Setup Support Files, the SQL Server VSS Writer, and MS XML 6 Service Pack 2. All those files, which should have been installed by Paper Tiger automatically when you ran the installation, um, all those files are required for Paper Tiger to run properly. The only one that's not required is this one. This is an extra application that we use here for testing and uh, debugging purposes. So don't worry about this one. So you're saying, okay, my SQL did install properly. Uh, Paper Tiger was running fine a while back, and all of a sudden I launch it and I get that same error message. Okay, so the next place you can look is here. If you go back to your control panel, go to administrative tools. Now go to the services icon. Um, this will bring up a list of all the required, or actually all the services running in your computer. Paper Tiger requires one service, which it aptly names SQL Server PT Professional 4.1. Um, you can see I have a network installation here on this test machine. Um, so the service for the network, um, for the network program is here as well. Let's go ahead and just talk about professional here. You can see the column, this this column is for the name of the service and this column displays the status of the server, uh, of the service, I'm sorry. As you can see this one, SQL Server PT Professional 4.1 doesn't have anything by the status, um, in the status column. If we go ahead and double click that, you can see here that the service status says that it's stopped. Now when this service is stopped, Paper Tiger won't be able to connect to it, therefore it gives you the server not found error message. If we go ahead and hit start here, um, this service should hopefully start right back up like it did, and we should be in business. Let's go ahead and check out Paper Tiger and see if it works okay. Go ahead and double click on the icon, and it should come right up. There we go. You have five days remaining on your 30 day trial. Okay, no problem. So you're saying, okay, I went ahead, did all that, found the service, and when I hit start, it didn't start properly. 99% of the time, the cause of the service not being, uh, not starting correctly is because of an antivirus or anti-phishing or anti-scamming um, software that's blocking the service. Uh, a lot of those, uh, a lot of those um, antivirus software will block um, services like these because sometimes they can be considered risky or or suspicious or whatever else it may be that they they deem uh, to block it 
Uh, no need to worry about the Paper Tiger one. This is something that runs internally on your computer, never connects to the internet, and therefore there shouldn't ever be a threat of it being any type of phishing or scamming uh, device or anything like that. But uh, sometimes they do get blocked. Um, anyways, I, in my experience, I have seen Norton 360. Um, also, the latest version of McAfee, the firewall will block the service from installing. Um, the easiest way to get around that, at least to make sure that it is the antivirus or one of those pieces of software you might be running, is to completely disable all of them. Once you go ahead and do that, you should be able to go ahead and double click here, hit start again, and the service should start um, without a problem. Now what you can start doing is enable each one of them one by one, or if you only have one, go ahead and re-enable it and see if the service won't be, um, if the service quits to, if the service does not start properly, then you know that it's a problem with your antivirus software. So now you're saying, okay, um, I went ahead and to begin with, I checked in my add remove programs and SQL was not there to begin with. What do I do now? Okay, um, that can be caused again by the antivirus software that you may have installed blocking the installation altogether. Uh, that is very common and we do stress this, uh, we, we try to do this as much as many times as possible to please make sure that you turn off all your antivirus software when you're installing Paper Tiger because they have been known to block uh, SQL server installations. So the first thing you might want to do is go ahead and do that. Go ahead disable all your antivirus software, all these little guys right here. There should not be anything, they'll be there but just make sure you go ahead and disable them. Um, and if you if you need help with that, you might want to check with uh, your vendor's website and see if they offer. I'm sure they offer tutorials on how to um, start and stop the antivirus. So once you went ahead and stopped everything, if you can refer back to your installation file, either the one you downloaded online or the one um, that should be in your CD. Okay, in this time in this case, I have uh, Paper Tiger Professional 4.1.18 you can go ahead and double click the installation file. Once this comes up, it'll already know that you already have Paper Tiger installed um, on the computer and it'll, it'll prompt you to do a, it'll give you three different options. You can either remove it, repair it, or modify it. What we wanna do in this case is repair the software. What this will do is this will reinstall the executable, which is the, um, the actual Paper Tiger program, and it will also attempt to reinstall any of the missing components, such as um, SQL 2005, um, so that everything can be back up and running. So let's go ahead and click, click Next. This will again, in my case, since SQL is already installed, um, it won't it won't do anything new, but as you can see here, it's going ahead and updating all those files, and it will go ahead and check to see if SQL is installed properly. You'll see that in one second. Hopefully now that you've turned off your antivirus software and all that other stuff, the SQL installation will go ahead and proceed and you'll be shown a message. Um, here, here it is installing 2.0. Um, you will be shown the installation dialog through SQL 2005 where it'll actually tell you all the components. It'll, it'll show you all those components that we looked at earlier and it'll tell you step by step that it's done installing this one, done installing this one, etc., etc. Now, if by any chance um, Paper Tiger fails to install each any of those components, go ahead and make sure you remember which one it is and write it down. That way when you do call for support if you do need it, um, you can go ahead and tell us right away, hey, I installed SQL and it's failing at this specific um, component and we'll be able to know, uh, you know, we won't be able to, we won't have to ask you, okay, what's going on. You, we'll be able to, to help you right away if we do know exactly what component of SQL is failing to install. Now, as soon as we get through with this, we should um, we should see the the SQL prompt come up.
www.thepapertiger.com you should see a section that says help and support go ahead and click on there and you'll be able to see your technical support options uh, so that you can get more help I hope that this has been helpful and um, thank you for watching